this is what two people who <laughs> are completely shocked and frozen look like slight change to my last vlog which we were in the Philippines <laughs> those vlogs will continue but we have just arrived in Bournemouth on a press trip and we're staying at the Bournemouth beach lodges I'm blown away I'm gonna give you a, sh a quick like tour but I really need to warm up so I'm really sorry if you can hear my coat rustling in this it started snowing a little bit on our way down it's like meant to be up to minus six tonight it's absolutely freezing but this lodge oh it's just so adorable hold on I'll show you more outside tomorrow, but this is where we are. There's a big Santa up there. How cute. Anyway, so you walk into our lodge, which by the way is so nice and toasty. It's so nice and warm. There's a little welcome pack here, which I'm very excited to delve into. Two sort of sofas. This is our luggage. Um, sofas here that also turn into beds. There's a TV. Haven't been upstairs yet. I'm just trying to warm up, but there's a staircase up here that takes you upstairs. Show the light switches in here, Jess. Tiny little kitchen area, it's so cute. It's a self catering lodge, so there's like a hob, a kettle, a toaster, there's no oven, and there's an under, oh, under counter fridge. Ah, oh, and a microwave, which is quite handy. I think this is the toilet, oh, or the bathroom even. Yeah, I'm sure that's the shower place, right? How We're do we uh, find a light switch? Oh, here. Oh! oh. Wow, that was bright. Oh, that's so nice actually. There we go. Nice little uh, walk in shower, not walk in shower, you know what I mean. There's a loo, towel radiator, little sink. Where's the mirror? Here's a mirror. Don't want to even see what I look like. Oh, sorry. Oh, that was you. No. I just walked into this. Oh, what's this? This is so cool. What are these? Oh, that's so adorable. You could like play hide and seek if you're I'm not a child. Upstairs. That's deep cool, by the way. <laughs> oh god, am I going to fall down these? There's a little gate I assume for children. Wow, these are steep. Mm. Let's go up here. Try not to fall to my death. Oh my god, this is so adorable. I've just come up. <laughs> oh, let me hit my head. There's like a little mattress. This is a double, I assume. And then you'd have to crawl in here. Oh. To steps. get somebody else in there. It's so cute, isn't it? That feels like a little crib for a baby or something. <laughs> um, I think it sleeps five to six people. What? Dwarfs? No. <laughs> <laughs> they did tell me that these um, sofas turn into beds. But he said if you want to be comfortable, like three people, which I can now see why. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Oh my god, is this a little window? What does this look out into? Oh, can't do it in one hand. Whoa. Well, nothing at the moment, but you know, we'll check it out tomorrow. Oh God, breaking everything. It really is like a loft. Oh, loads of storage here actually. This is so cute. Okay, we've warmed up. We actually thought the heating was on in here when we arrived, but I don't think it is. It's just so cold outside. Feels like it's on. We should try and figure that out, but it is really cozy in here. You're gonna think I'm such an idiot when I say this, but you know the beach huts that you get on the beach, all the colourful ones that you get in Bournemouth and in Brighton, for some stupid reason, did you think this as well, that we were checking into one of those? Yeah. And I was just thinking, I was like, how? I'm a little bit claustrophobic, it's gonna be tiny. This is obviously small, but it's not as tiny as that. It's a lot bigger, it's a lot more spacious. And of course I had seen photos online, but Photos can be deceiving, you know, just ask any estate agent and um, I honestly thought this place, I don't know, I, for some yeah. reason I was like, are we checking into a tiny little hut? I've actually never even noticed these lodges before, have you? No. We've been to Bournemouth, Jas and I love Bournemouth so much um, and it's been five years since the last time, first and last time we've been. Um, we have an itinerary because like I said, we're on a press trip. <coughs> there's a lot going on tomorrow and on Sunday so I'm very excited to share that it is funny though because when I first got this email about it oh my face is all red because I'm so cold when I first got the email I was like who goes to Bournemouth like in winter and I can totally see why it is so festive of course you're not going to go swimming in the sea or hanging out on the beach it's freezing but 
by the looks of the itinerary there's loads of exciting festive things happening so i can't wait to share that i think first of all we're going to try to figure out how to put the heating on right and then it's coming up to nine o'clock and um bedtime no we're gonna like unpack um maybe have a warm drink i bought my own oat milk um i thought you meant more wine or something <laughs> well i didn't bring mulled wine <laughs> I also need to go through the bags and there's a few bits and pieces I need to read. Um, but they have left like tea and coffee sachets and there's a cafetiere and a kettle. Um, we bought some like bananas and some cereal bars with us because we were warned to bring snacks. Oh, the heating is on, Jas. This towel radio. I can see you. Hey. That, that is the heating, isn't it? That's the only heating, isn't it? Oh, yeah, of course. There's no other heating. Oh, so it is on? Yes, I so, didn't think yeah, it was Yeah, that's what I mean. There's no other, like, you don't know where the radiator is in this place. That okay. Is the, that's basically the heating. <laughs> okay, so it is on. Um, so, yeah, we bought some bananas. I bought my own coffee, just because I'm fussy. We bought some drinks. Oh, your gloves are in this carrier bag, and we bought loads of bananas, because they're all going to go off at home. But we've got, like, eight bananas here. We're here for three nights. But anyway. <laughs> So this is everything that we bought with us. Um, this is just stuff I found in the cupboards at home, these drinks and the bottle of water. And no, this is not ground coriander. It's actually just coffee that Jas has decanted. And of course my oat milk. Yeah, and not eight bananas, we have five. Just opened this big bag up and along with loads of like vouchers and bits. Oh, we've got four little coasters. They're so adorable. Really good quality tea. Dorset ginger biscuits. <laughs> oh, biscuits. My favourite thing ever. A bottle of Prosecco, which we could have tonight. Oh, we need to put it in the fridge. Um, I've obviously got this jute bag and I've also got this really nice tote bag. I love a good tote bag, like especially like a non-offensive one. Do you know what I mean? Like nice colour, like sturdy. This is really nice. And um yeah, I think I mentioned we got some vouchers for a few bits and pieces that we're doing over the weekend, which is all very exciting. Oh, and also, not forgetting these orange chocolate chip biscuits. Ooh. Very exciting. I'm going to coffee tomorrow. I know. I look really glamorous. I also can't mm. really hear much when this is up. I'm not really a hat person, but I bought this headband to keep me warm. Suits you. It's very warm, right? Yeah, it is. And this is really warm. <laughs> Thanks. Primark specials. We are going for a walk along the beach. Probably won't last very long though. It's absolutely yeah. freezing. It's minus three degrees right now. Freezing. Yeah, who wears this lot at the beach? <laughs> <laughs> this is England, Jess. <laughs> we are literally the only two people on the beach right now. It's scary, <laughs> but it's incredible. Uh, I also can't tell if it's sand or ice that I'm stepping on. So cold. I'm so glad I brought my one thermal top that I own. It's in my suitcase. So I may or may not have thought that we were staying in <laughs> these beach huts, which Jas said are basically like walk-in freezers, <laughs> probably right now. Those are the lodges up there that we're staying in, but I will obviously show you properly tomorrow when it's hopefully not as cold and will be a lot more light. Do you see that little Santa poking through the beach huts? How different does Bournemouth look? Like, can you imagine it in the summer? It's just sitting here in your swimwear when it's not minus three, dipping your feet into the sea. Oh, cold. Good morning, everyone. It's like 7 a.m. and I wanted to get up for the sunrise. Look at how beautiful. The sand is frosty. I've literally never seen that before. And it's so peaceful. There's just literally a couple of dog walkers. And that's it. We have the whole of Bournemouth Beach to ourselves. Almost. It might be minus four degrees outside, but oh my God, it is so beautifully sunny. It's absolutely stunning. Like it's actually really warm when you stand like this and be blinded by the sun. I've just washed my hair, which probably wasn't the best idea for this weather. It's still obviously wet. Um, it's about quarter to 10 in the morning 
we're not going to have breakfast today we just had a banana and a coffee and we're going to head off for crazy golf right so the beach lodges are actually located right behind the beach huts there's a separate path so it's like a few steps down to the beach huts and then you're basically on the beach but in order to get here in the first place you have to go down this zigzag path down a cliff we are literally at the bottom of this cliff don't know if you'll be able to see it so this is what i meant this is the pathway to the beach lodges which are obviously up there on the right these are the beach huts and that's the beach but <laughs> we need to go all the way up there it's a zigzag path which is quite easy to come down but obviously going up i guess it's gonna be quite steep yeah just a little bit steep <laughs> This was a bit tricky for us to find yesterday but that's free parking and it's quite hard to see obviously at night time when it's dark but we just about managed to see this sign so you walk down there and then further along you get like solar powered lights and it's that steep hill that we've just walked up this place brings back so many memories from when we came here five years ago but we are at Bournemouth Pier we're heading to Adventure Golf at Smuggler's Cove we've only got about an hour and a half because then we have a table booked for lunch um, at a hotel so oh it's so cold we have arrived it looks really dead it's like we have the whole place to ourselves so we're going um to play some mini golf first yeah oh it's quite big actually oh it's massive look right you're perched on some frost i'm not sure how much you're gonna see but we haven't got very long to get around this golf course and we've got a scorecard so let's go number two just just inform me i haven't won because my ball obviously went through this tomb landed there but i've still got to get in the hole what the hell right okay hold on i feel cheated let's see if i can rest you here what's that six six oh, stop it i got six in total he's just done seven just to get it in there <laughs> it's all right i'm keeping tabs on you eight Nine! <laughs> I bet you don't feel so good about winning the last one now, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Once again, you're perched on random things. I have no idea what you can see. But let's go for this one. It's quite tricky. Oh. Yep. One. Two. So close, Jess. So close. Three. Three. Four. I got one in and four. Five. Five. Whoop, whoop. Who's winning so far, Jess? I think I am. No, you're not. Absolutely not. You won one. I won two. Yeah, overall. overall. Yeah, overall, I'm winning. Yeah.
Yay! It was so fun. We couldn't finish it though, because we're on a bit of a tight schedule. We've got lunch booked in about, what time is it? 20 minutes time. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. I'm not too sure where it is. Do you wanna Google it? No, is it walking distance? Hopefully. Now what's it called again? The Nikki Hotel. I won, obviously, right Jess? No. If you ask me who won, I'd say me. If you ask Jas, it's that he'd say him. So I will leave that up to you guys. Let me know in the comments below who you thought actually won. We're taking the scenic route walking down the beach, but I think the hotel is on a road parallel to the beach. Oh, we had to walk up a lot of cliffs to get here, but this place looks so fancy. Wow, it's so cool. Ah, oh, it's like Miami. That is amazing. This hotel is so lovely and I didn't actually look at the menu online before we came but there's like quite a few things on here that I can eat so it's very exciting. They've got like a vegan dish, a vegetable, no, loads of vegan dishes. There's like three or four things to choose from which is all very exciting. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Cheers, your cocktail matches your jumper dress. <laughs> Very autumnal on this cold winter's day. This My salted caramel espresso. Salted caramel espresso martini. So good. Wow. Excellent, isn't it? That is really good. Just has got, what's it called? Don something. Don Johnson. Don Johnson. It's like whiskey, Jameson whiskey and some sort of creme de cacao and chocolate bitters. Yeah. So I'm, gonna it, I'm gonna give it a go. Oh wow, Just doesn't quite know what to do with himself, do you? <laughs> Talk about, is that how big prawns really are? Jumbo cream No, I've seen jumbo king prawns, not this size before. They're like Oh, they're stuffed size. with like, oh, I can't really look at these things, sorry. Anyway, here's mine. <laughs> Burrata and heirloom tomato. Bet you wish you got a salad now, don't you, Jess? <coughs> Jealous? Are we? <laughs> Main course is served. I went for the pad thai with tofu and no oyster sauce. Jas got lemon sole, but he got it filleted because he doesn't like to look at fish, like the heads of fish or whatever. Um, with a side of, what was it called? Triple cooked Triple, chips. This is so good. That was amazing. It's a very fishy day for you today, isn't it? Sorry, I can't hear you. It's a very fishy day for you today, isn't it? <laughs> That's a really big fish. That's good though. Lunch at the Nikki Hotel was so nice. The service was excellent, but most importantly, sirens. <laughs> Not for me, I promise. <clears throat> the decor of that hotel is incredible. It only properly opened up in the summer. It previously used to be the Savoy Hotel and it's a five star resort. I think they have a pool, but they didn't have enough time to show us around, and plus, we need to. Go on with to our next destination. But the decor in there is so cool. It's very art deco. It's it's modeled on Miami, as you can see by the big print that says Miami. It's a play on words for Miami as you enter the lobby. I absolutely fell in love with this place. Like I definitely want to stay here next time we come to Bournemouth. Here and the beach lodges, because I love the beach lodges too. Um, and now we're going to find our way back to Bournemouth Pier, hopefully avoiding all the cliffs. Although this time around we're going downwards, right? Down the cliff, not yes. up the cliff. So it's quite easier. Yeah, much easier. We're just about to walk down the pier, and Jas and I have spotted this uh, Christmas trail trivia. So I've been answering them, and so far, two out of two I've got right. I think this is the nutcracker. And the answer is. Here, Nutcracker. What's the next one? Okay, which ocean is, is Christmas, Christmas Island? Island? Oh, Atlantic. You'd be surprised. I don't think so. Indian. Yeah. What is it? Indian. Indian. Oh, I kind of got that wrong. Kind of right. I don't know. Where does Santa Claus live? North Pole. North Pole. Imagine <laughs> if I got that wrong. <laughs> anyway, just cheating, aren't you? No, I'm not cheating. 
Next question was what country donates the Christmas tree for London's Trafalgar Square? Norway. I asked him and he was like, yeah, Norway. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, it's dark and we find ourselves at the Bournemouth Christmas tree market. <laughs> These are dogs. <laughs> Oh, it's slippery here actually. It's so busy. Oh, that's where we're headed, I think. We've taken the longer scenic route. Oh, right. I think so, anyway. Yeah, it looks like it. There's loads of like Christmas trees all lit yeah. up. ice skating rink here it's quite busy though i think this is the children's one there's an adult one as well we were going to go ice skating but i don't fancy going home with a broken leg or arm or both yes yeah, so the queue like goes winds all the way around inside there it is really busy i want to find somewhere with hot drinks inside this market this is so funny there's such a long queue and you'll never guess what for ice cream it's minus five degrees it's absolutely freezing and people are queuing for ice cream just about to stock up on fudge what flavor really that's so boring when they've got like baileys nutella they've got oreos they've got like my favorite is vanilla so that is the most boring thing ever coffee and cream oh i don't like coffee and cream oreo truffle okay let's try it. try your nutella yeah no i, I don't want any though I don't like fudge. Just just took out a mortgage to buy some <laughs> fudge. <laughs> Guess how much it this, costs? This about nine pound something. Nine pound ninety. Nine. Whoa, Ten pound for it. Like it's not even that heavy. It's like it's, oh my god. That's they're so big blocks. Yeah, they are big blocks of fudge. But now I think we're gonna get a hot drink. I keep saying this. Let's actually get a hot drink. I think this is my favourite tree. We're about to leave, and Jas has just got in line for some churros. So I'd scrap the hot drink and go for churros instead. If you can go to a Christmas market without getting churros, you are a better human than me and Jas <laughs> with his chocolate sauce. Oh, these look and smell so good and they're so nice and warm to hold. These churros were so good, weren't they? Yeah, they were lovely. They were so lovely and warm. I wasn't even hungry, like I'm actually really full after lunch still. It was about 6.30 p.m. when we had lunch, six and a half hours ago. But, um, okay, now everyone's watching the vlog because everyone's walking in and we're now walking back out. Um, we've got a couple of hours till our dinner reservation, so <laughs> we might find a pub to sit in because England are playing, right, yep. tonight? <coughs> England and France. Yes, yeah, so we delayed dinner a little bit because just wanted to watch the match and I'm just happy to sit somewhere warm. Hopefully I get a seat. We've been out day since yeah, 9 30 yeah. this morning it's now 6 30 p.m and it's also freezing by the way so we've arrived at 12 eatery which is a vegan restaurant i had a quick look at their menu last night and it looks very exciting <laughs> First up, we have the pan-seared scallops. They look so good. It's so realistic, don't they, Jeff? Oh my god, this looks amazing, doesn't it? Yep. Are you excited? Yeah, so good. Oh my god, guys, that meal was so good. Wasn't it excellent? Oh, I thought, yeah, it was good. Oh, it was so nice. They actually make their own like vegan roast beef. I asked him what was in it and I've forgotten that it was Oh, what was it? Something they part make it soya, they part make it all in house. wheat protein, I think he said. It wasn't pea protein, because I don't actually like that. And I could tell it wasn't pea protein. Vegan Yorkshire puddings are not for me. But everything else, oh my god, the garlic broccoli, the roast potatoes, maple roasted carrots and parsnips. It was so good. I'm completely stuffed. Are you stuffed, Jess? Yeah, I'm very stuffed. Stuffed like a jacket potato. Yeah. We're heading back to our lodge about more than 12 hours after we left. <sighs> so cold, and like I'm smoking. Morning. <laughs> you can see Jess in the uh, mirror, your reflection. Ignore my hair. Um, it's absolutely 
freezing it's minus six it's really cold in this lodge as well we've been sleeping with socks on and my fingers and toes are freezing the second i get out of the shower i throw a jumper on even though i'm wet oh it's really cold but we're heading out today first we're going for breakfast we have like a breakfast voucher for either the prom diner or the prom cafe um we're gonna go to one of those and then we might go to the art gallery it's raining today and it's snowing so it's even colder than it was yesterday we haven't even opened the door yet it looks bright but anyway then we might go to the art gallery before heading to pool so i'll take you with me oh i just put my gloves on so we may have been here for about 20 minutes trying to de-ice this car there's like two or three layers of ice on it and we have the world's worst scraper uh, um, breakfast might turn into lunch at this point <laughs> all like dinner yeah or dinner i may have slipped walking up this path as well earlier like twice i think i'm getting some funny looks from passers-by people driving past like what is she wearing but it's just too cold minus six guys i just oh i cannot right so we've arrived at the prom diner it's very mm. icy i think we're gonna chance it and not pay for parking because like it'd be a hardcore traffic warning if you want to come community. out at this time yeah but actually we drove past boscombe pier and last time i came we came i remember that was my favorite pier it had a lot of like really good restaurants and things I look a little bit less like the Michelin man now. Yeah. I've got a nice flat white, so cold. Good. It is a bit oniony. More that? Is it? So try it. A bit oniony. Really? Like it's been in the dishwasher with some onions. <laughs> Something about it, I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so nice. I did have that yesterday from the prom cafe in the afternoon, which was nice, but uh, it's drinkable. It's fine. I love a bit of onion with <laughs> <laughs> One vegan breakfast for me and a full English for Jess. This is so cool. I love this. It looks so realistic as well, like with the smashed glass. We've just arrived in Pool. It was about a 25 minute drive. We've parked up and we're heading to a shop called Truly Scrumptious, which I think is a sweet shop. I've been told to go there and pick up a bag of goodies. So I'm very excited to see what that might be. Jess is navigating us. Mm. <laughs> Here we are. <sighs> it's so icy. Well, not this part, but oh, just skidded backwards on the pavement, so we're walking on the roads. <laughs> Bag of goodies, it's so exciting. More fudge for you, Jess. So we've been walking for what seems like quite a while, but there's not really much happening here. It's really dead. <laughs> we're just killing a bit of time. Our lunch reservation was at 2, but we only ended up like having breakfast at about 12. In the end, we're really not hungry. There's no shops to really go into. And, um... I'm going to check in here for ice. Okay, we're looking for de-icer. Exciting <laughs> time. I'm going to pop into Pool Museum and have a quick little mooch before we head off for lunch. I love looking at pottery. These little vases are so cool. I like that little face one as well, the bigger one on the right hand side. I keep telling Nish to watch your head on these beans, but look, I just realised they're actually tiny. <laughs> I don't need to, don't need to duck. <laughs> For reference, I think these beams have got cushioning to stop people hitting their heads. Yeah, I remember. But also, always most. Watch your, always watch your head, right? <laughs> Okay, just can't hear in public anywhere really <laughs> it may look like we've gone straight from breakfast to lunch and to be honest we kind of have um we couldn't really move our lunch reservation any later because they're closing early at 5 p.m today for some reason we're really not hungry but we yeah. have to have lunch in about we're, we're a, 10 we're minutes a, we're a late breakfast early lunch so basically also a big breakfast i don't normally eat breakfast at home um 
pool is like very dead. I think maybe because it's a Sunday, literally nothing is open. So we're gonna have lunch and then we're gonna go to the Maritime Light Festival, which I think is just along the same road and it all lights up as a trail or something. We'll figure it out over lunch. <coughs> but right now my toes are frozen. <laughs> my hair, what is going on with my hair? Espresso martini for me. That should be my new middle name actually. Oh. We're in Da Vinci's having some lunch and I'll give you a quick look at the menu. There are a lot of vegetarian and vegan starters. Not a ton of like pasta for me to choose from. It's like two or three options. There's obviously pizza. I went for, oh the plate is really hot. What was it? Mushroom with olive oil, chili, garlic something with a bit of focaccia. What did you get? Jumbo King Corn? Yeah. And, and the ketchup. Yeah. Lovely. So there we go. Lunch is served. I got a side of tender sem broccoli and I'm not actually sure what this rabbit really is. Um, I think it's squash and sage, potentially. And you got some new potatoes on the side of yours, didn't you? Yep. Yeah. Lunch was, uh, it was okay. It was far too rich for me for lunchtime everything I had was kind of swimming in butter and oil but we're now walking around Pool Quay it's all very festive and lit up and we're off to find the Christmas tree Christmas light trail I think we found it actually I think this is it there we go very pretty Okay, so this is the Maritime Light Festival trail map. These are all the spots along the high street. I think we're currently there because I walked through the snowflake. What? Oh, the recycling turtle? We didn't see that. And oh, you walk all the way through this. We did see a Christmas tree though that you walked through. Oh yeah, Christmas present tree. So we saw number 19 and 20. We're gonna go on the hunt for the rest. We've just got back to our beach lodge it is so cold. i cannot explain to you how cold it is outside and i keep saying it it's only about 5 30 pm he's making us some coffees because we're frozen we're contemplating checking out tonight and heading home because we were meant to be staying another night and checking out in the morning at 10 a.m i think it's meant to snow overnight and our car is rear wheel drive it doesn't do very well in the snow and also it's just a bit chilly here. <laughs> we could just head home. It's only a two and a half hour drive. We're completely stuffed. We, our itinerary was obviously packed for yesterday and today. We've done everything apart from going to the Russell Coates Art Gallery slash museum, which we didn't really have time to do this morning. And I thought we might do that tomorrow, but there's really no point in hanging around just for that. Oh, this has been such a wonderful day. Had it not have been like so cold, like minus three, minus five, whatever it is, it would have been a lot more pleasant. But because of the snow, we're just a bit chilly. And um, I can't afford to be ill. Next weekend, we're doing a road trip to Manchester to see my baby nephew, who was born just a few days ago. And I can't be ill, obviously, if I want to go and see him. So that's all very exciting. We're all packed up. I'm just going up the stairs to do one more check. Make sure we haven't left anything. Oh, no, we haven't. I'm gonna make this bed quickly before we go. But that is it. That is us all packed up. Sad times. I'm gonna end this video here. This has been such a pleasant day. Like it's been such a lovely experience staying somewhere self-catered because I don't think we've ever done that before. The beach lodges are just absolutely incredible. Even though they're really small and compact, they don't feel claustrophobic in any way. And like I said, they do sleep up to six people, but unless you're very comfortable like sharing a tiny space with somebody else or more than like one other person, if it's outside of your family, I would say it's perfect for two people, like two adults, a couple of children would be perfect. It would be so incredible to stay here in the summer or in spring when it isn't so busy. You just take 10 steps outside and you're on the beach. That would be so cool. 
But anyway, um, I will be writing a blog post about this lodge because oh, I just love this day. And as always, I love Bournemouth so much. It just seems like it has a really nice vibe with a great buzz and um, some of the restaurants that we looked at look excellent. Ugh, like last night's dinner was so good. Um, that wasn't part of the press trip. We paid for that ourselves and oh my God, if I could manage another meal, I would go there tonight. But unfortunately I can't. Oh, if, you're, if you're in Bournemouth, definitely check out 12 Eatery. It was just absolutely incredible. No idea what my hair's doing. But anyway, I'm gonna end this video here. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one, which will be back to my Philippines vlogs. <laughs> Thanks for watching, bye. I'll give you one last look at the lodge before we leave, but here it is with all the festive lights turned off all packed and ready to leave it would have been so nice actually to open up these bifold doors just to like show you the view but obviously it's been so cold we don't want to let any more cold air in than we needed to but there we go sad times